Hello and welcome to this lecture on setting up Kubernetes with Kube ADM tool. In this lecture, we will look at the Kube admin tool, which can be used to bootstrap a Kubernetes cluster. With the Minikube utility, you could only set up a single node Kubernetes cluster. The Kube admin tool helps us set up a multi node cluster with master and workers on separate machines. Installing all of these various components individually on different nodes and modifying the configuration files to make it work is a tedious task. Kube admin tool helps us in doing all of that very easily in an automated fashion. Before we head into the demo, it's good to understand how the whole process works. Let's go through the steps. First, you must have multiple systems or virtual machines created for configuring a cluster. We will see how to set up your laptop to do just that if you're not familiar with it. Once the systems are created, designate one as master and others as worker nodes. The next step is to install a container runtime on the hosts so that we can run containers on these hosts. We will be using Docker, so we must install Docker on all the nodes. The next step is to install Kube Admin Tool on all the nodes. The Kube Admin Tool helps us bootstrap the Kubernetes solution by installing and configuring all the required components in the right nodes. The third step is to initialize the master server. During this process, all the required components are installed and configured on the master server. That way, we can start the cluster level configurations from the master server. Once the master server is initialized and before joining the worker nodes to the master, we must ensure that the network prerequisites are met. A normal network connectivity between the systems is not sufficient for this. Kubernetes requires a special network between the master and worker nodes, which is called as a pod network or a cluster network. We will learn more about this network in the networking section later in this course. For now, we will simply follow the instructions available to get this installed and set up in our environment. The last step is to join the worker nodes to the master node. We are then all set to launch our application in Kubernetes. We will now see a demo of setting up Kubernetes using the Kube admin tool in our local environment. Now, this demo is divided into multiple parts. In the first section, we will look at how to set up a basic lab in our laptop using a virtualization technology. And in our case, we're going to use VirtualBox. In fact, all that we need is three Linux virtual machines running a supported version of the operating system. Uh, in our case, we're going to use Ubuntu. Uh, you don't have to follow uh, or you don't have to go through the initial demo of setting up the virtual machines because that's for the absolute beginners in case you already know uh, how to do that. You can set up your virtual machines either on your laptop or you could set it up on a lab environment or on the cloud. So it doesn't really matter where you do it. All you need to do is make sure that these three VMs, they have their own unique IP addresses, static IP addresses. They have their unique host names and they're part of the same network so that they can communicate uh, with each other. So uh, we will have three sections in the demo. The first section to set up a basic lab environment, that's for the absolute beginners. And once we do that, we will then look at how to uh, use the Kube admin tool to set up and configure Kubernetes on that. Okay, thank you for your time and I will see you in the demo.